I put ASAP on my tap. I put New York on the map. I put the gang on the flame. They gon' remember the name. They robbing boys with the chain. I got go yard by the sack. I got the boo by the pack. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Alicia. I'm a junior nursing major here at Hampton University. And yeah, so today I will be filming my makeup products that I cannot live without. So basically, these are going to be products that either I wear on my face every single day or that I'll always repurchase no matter the price. So I have high-end options, I have drugstore options, um, all different types of brands, just products that I love and I always wear. So let's get straight into the video. So normally I would start off with an eyebrow product, but honestly... Um, no eyebrow products really like scream my name like when I use them so um, I like the L'Oreal brow definer but um, it's one of my favorites but it's not like I need it you know what I'm saying all my eyes well all my eyebrows today I'm wearing the NYX Tame and Frame so that's another product that I like but again it's not a product that I would include in this video but if you guys are wondering those are the products that I use on my eyebrows so after I do my eyebrows I'll normally carve them out with a concealer to get that real sharp cut kind of look on the eyebrows just making them look real clean so what I use for that is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Yellow Corrector so this shade will just give you that real highlighted sharp cut look I feel like other shades like um, this is the color fawn it's kind of close to my skin tone so it doesn't give me a real carved out look so that's why I like using the yellow corrector shade because it's a very yellowy um, like a highlighted look so this is um, what I use and it just looks so bomb on the eyebrows I'm wearing it today and yeah that's what I use um, to carve out my eyebrows next after doing my eyebrows I'll do my primer and the two products that I cannot live without are the Too Faced Primed and Poreless um, I think this was about 28 to 30 dollars but it's a skin smoothing face primer so it gets rid of all those pores I have very large pores on my face so I'm always trying to find a way to like get that flawless skin look um, so this is what I use and then I use it in combination with the professional and this is the travel size because the the big professional is so expensive but I so I just get the travel size such a great primer it really conceals your pores and makes your skin look very flawless so I mix these two together and it just gives me that perfect perfect like airbrushed kind of look so um I love that okay so next I have two foundations now these foundations I promise you you need in your life these foundations are very um, full coverage if you don't like that then I wouldn't suggest getting these um, foundations but these foundations are very full coverage and um, I have one drugstore and one high-end so um, if you can't afford the high-end one definitely get the drugstore they're almost kind of the same but these are just must-haves I wear them every single day unless I'm doing a really light face but I wear these literally every single day so this is for the drugstore this is the Revlon color stay um, I'm in the shade 400 caramel I know you guys you guys have heard about this because this is like an OG foundation that everyone should know about um, this used to be in everybody's drugstore favorites videos for that full coverage foundation look so um, this just goes on your skin so nicely um, I like that it's full coverage because I don't really like like um, like light coverage foundations because if I'm gonna do my face I just want everything to be real smooth looking um, kind of just beat honestly so this is definitely a go-to you need this it's gonna make your skin look so flawless especially with the primers that I put on before I do this so flawless and I'll put the price somewhere up in the corner because I really can't remember the prices of all this stuff so next I have the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation I'm in the color Mac Macau I'm in the color Macau. Um, this is hands down my favorite foundation ever. I'm wearing my foundation. I'm wearing this foundation right now on my face. It is bomb. Like this will really have your face looking like so smooth. Just so full coverage. But not full coverage at the same time. Because it's not going to look like you have a cake face. But it's going to give you that real full coverage look. 
so I'm wearing it right now it's my favorite and yeah I really recommend that foundation I'm gonna just mention these again briefly because this is what I put underneath my eyes to highlight but I already mentioned it for the eyebrows so these are the LA girl Pro conceal I first go in with the color fawn and then I go in with the yellow corrector just to give it that super bright under eye look and those are full coverage um, concealers as you guys can see I like a lot of full coverage stuff I just love like a super super beat face so once I go in with these it's a wrap the face is just snatched everything comes together everything looks so good um, if you're on a budget I definitely say go for these these are only like three dollars each so you need these in your life okay so now we're moving on to the last couple of products so I would do a bronzer right now but honestly there's not a lot of bronzers that I really like love and that I'm in love with like I just feel like brands make ashy colored bronzers and that's not gonna work for someone of my skin tone like so these brands need to do better with these um, bronzers if you guys have a favorite bronzer let me know but I'm still searching for like a bronzer that I love but moving on to set my um, highlights, this is the OG. Like this, you need if you're brown skin, um, not even brown skin, if you're a woman of color, you need Sasha Buttercup. So this is definitely a holy, holy, holy grail setting powder for me. This is about $20, um, but it's worth every single penny this will not give you any flashback at all I can guarantee that the other um, powders that I use the Laura Mercier the one that's like $40 and I forgot what the other one was called but those give me a little bit of flashback not a lot but sometimes it can give me flashback this does not do that and I love the yellow color of it it does not do that so this is definitely a must-have in your collection moving on to eyeshadow palettes um, I have two of them. This was so hard to choose which one I was going to call my holy grail. But y'all already know Anastasia had to be included in this video. This is the Modern Renaissance palette. If I don't know what to do on my eyes, I just go to this palette. This palette is beautiful. It has such great transition colors. It has great highlighter colors, especially um, the Primavera color. Beautiful. Like I use that all over the lid y'all need this you need this palette this is $45 um but it's just so good like so, it's just such good quality um so we have I love the primavera color the red ochre um and the real gar I think that's how you say it but especially if you're a woman of color once again some palettes tend to once again have really cool tone shades that are kind of ashy and sometimes don't look good on us so I love the warm tones of this palette and just their color scheme of it must have and then this option is a little bit cheaper um, this is the morphe 350 palette the shades in here are just so amazing I love my warm tone shades um, they have the oranges on this side you have um, a lot of different colors you could put on your lid a lot of transition shades and the best part is that this palette is only I think $25 it's probably even less than that honestly so it's so affordable um, and it's definitely a holy grail and products I reach for all the time so we're getting to the last stretch here so for lips honestly I love a lot of lip products but mainly I think that I love glosses so I'm going to start off with the liner. This is a MAC Lip Pencil in Cork. This is such a pretty, like not a dark brown, but a light brown um, lip pencil. And it just looks so good with any type of nude that you try to pair it with. So I pair it with the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. This is in the shade, I hope I said that right. This is in the shade Unreal. It's just a nude lip gloss and I pair it with the Cork Lip Liner and these are everyday products. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I'm about to put a little bit more on. These are just such pretty shades. Um, especially for those brown girl nudes, this is a must. 
so i love this combo this combo is a holy grail and i wear it almost every single day if i'm not doing a bold lip color thank you guys for watching my favorite makeup products or my makeup products that i cannot live without if you guys see any products that you think would look great on you i say try them it works great for me and i think it would honestly look amazing on you guys so go try out these products most of them are affordable um, and they're definitely worth the money if they're not. So make sure you guys leave a like, leave me some comments, um, subscribe to my channel so you guys can know when I post my next video. And thank you so much for watching. Louisiana shit. Murder on the beat. Something for y'all to cut up to, you know?